Hello Aries, thank you for joining me. Today is Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. This is your reading for the 26th of April to the 2nd of May 2021 or thereabouts. Um, I've done a pre-shuffle of the cards to get your energy into the cards, Aries. Um, but before we begin, just very quickly mention that on the 25th, 26th, 27th of April, right at the beginning of, of this, the time to go for this reading, um, it's the full moon in Scorpio. So um, and Scorpio is very much a, a transformation energy. So this will be a deep transformation, but very much on an unconscious level. It's an unconscious energy. So what the the energies of this full moon are going to support our bodies to release ancient traumas um, but at a DNA level so um, it's not always an easy process to go through but um, you know we all go through it on different levels don't we to a greater or a lesser degree but um, it is a necessary energy to go through because uh, as we release um, past memories, past traumas, as we can release them, then that helps us to begin on a new day with a new, I'm feeling lighter, um, a new um, lighter energy and uh, a renewed sense of ourselves and who we are, uh, who we're meant to be. So, you know, qu quite an intense energy. Um, so, I think uh, just something to consider going through this time over the next week um, perhaps is to channel your energies into things that you enjoy. So, you know, whether it's hobbies or walking in nature or relaxing, nurturing yourself, but whatever it is, that it's something that you enjoy that will lift your energy. Um, and that's the way to get through this, this um, full moon time. Um, Try not to get bogged down with um, everyday um, chores and responsibilities, delegate if necessary, or just, you know, leave some jobs and, until this time period has um, moved on. So it, it, it's only for over a few days. Um, but anyway, so that's just a little bit of information about this um, impending um full moon in Scorpio and I'm doing this reading for you on the 23rd, Friday the 23rd so you know I can feel the energy is already building up um, towards that but this is a very necessary process and it's a process you know that's beneficial um, for all of us. So um, okay uh, enough said <laughs> and um, I'll just do a final shuffle now this is the Moonology deck just do a final shuffle we have had a card that's just jumped out um, so I will take that and it's the new moon in Pisces um, and this says about meditate and contemplate so a little bit of an underpinning of what I, I was just saying so you know a, a time to um, take a step back over the next few days meditate and contemplate review the past review and reflect all right so I'll just put that to one side and then a final shuffle of the um, Oracle of Visions. Interestingly, the full moon, this full moon energy has come out um, in every single reading I've done up to now. So, you know, that's that's the power of these full moons. And, and new moon also, you know, when that comes around, that has brings its own energy. Right, so, um, right, here we have number four. And this talks about perspective and points of view. So um, perhaps considering different points of view, perhaps becoming aware of having um, a unique perspective, a unique take on things. Um, so we can come back to this energy in a little while. So I'll just put it to one side. So it's a time for meditation and contemplation and perhaps, you know, thinking about different different points of view to our own but also acknowledging that we do have our own unique point of view and take on things. All right, Aries, I'll just do a final shuffle now of the um, Tarot of Dreams. So we have the heart of your reading and um, what you're thinking about, the root of the matter, past influences, the future going forward and then there's something else that the energies would like to say to you at this time. 
um, just to quickly mention, it is a general reading, Aries, so it won't resonate or have meaning for all of you, but it certainly will for, for some of you. Now, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands, um, and this is about um, lots of hard work and planning being put into something, um, and now it's the time for sitting back and waiting for your ship to come in. So again, another energy linking to this, this Scorpio um, full moon. So, you know, sit back and just wait for things to start to come in now. Time of waiting. So I'll just do a final shuffle now of the light seers, Tarot. I'll just mention this card. It's, it's been trying to jump out. It's the Eight of Swords. And this is when we're feeling a bit stuck in our mind, a ment mental conflict about something. Um, so I'll just pop it back in and we'll see where that's going. Another couple of shuffles. Right, another card that's jumped out is the world. Um, and this is about a completion of a cycle. Um, perhaps something coming to a head linked with this full moon um, which is bringing something to a head but that something is completing um, for some of you uh, ready for that new beginning that new start so i'll pop that back in if it comes out again that's absolutely fine but the cards are jumping about all over the place um, another one that's flipped over is the ace of cups and this is about something a new emotion a new emotional experience um, but you need to still look after your heart. So I'll pop that back in. <laughs> Let's see if we can get to the end of this shuffle. All right, another card that's flipped over. We've got the Seven of Swords. Um, and this is the sneaky thief in the night energy. When somebody's taking something that um, doesn't belong to them, um, that, that um, is not purposeful for them, um, but doing it very sneakily. Um, or some, or having to keep something away from somebody, perhaps. So I'll pop that back in, and then another couple of shuffles. Gosh, I've never had quite so many cards jumping out. Here we have the Queen of Cups now, and this is a very much a Piscean Cancer um, energy. Um, now, um, so this is this is perhaps representing somebody um, connected to you, or it could be representing an aspect of yourself, Aries. But the Queen of Cups is very sensitive, nurturing energy, mothering energy, very spiritual, very uh, intuitive. Um, okay, so let's see where this is going. I think the cards have quite a lot they want to say to you, Aries. So I'll just lay these on top now. Okay, um, at the bottom of this deck we have the Three of Cups um, and this talks about um, celebration and joy coming together with family, friends, community perhaps um, and celebrating but it's, this is also about following your star, um, turning your back on what's no longer serving you um, and heading forward with others that are on the same page as you, that have the same perspective that you have um, and following your dreams, following your, your star. So let's see, I'll just put that to one side because we have already had um, one card about, about perspective, didn't we? So um, let's see. So at the heart of your reading, Aries, we have the Moon and um, the Ace of Cups. So we had the Ace of Cups jumping out, didn't we, earlier? Um, the Moon, which again is a very Piscean energy here, so... We've got the water energies coming through right at the middle of your reading, Aries. Um, so the moon, this is something still a bit vague at the moment. Something's a bit unclear at the moment. And it's to do with a new emotional experience for some of you. Um, something to do with your heart. Um, could be a new love, uh, um, a new partnership. Something new that's meaningful for your heart but there's a need for you to protect your heart at the same time. Um, but it, whatever it is, it's a little bit vague at the moment, a little bit unclear at the moment. So I'll just pop that to the centre. 
and let's see what's on your mind at the moment we have the nine of swords and we have the eight of cups the nine of swords is fear-based thoughts when we are thinking about something over and over and we start to imagine we get imaginary fears we start to imagine all sorts of things that aren't quite right um, so this is fear-based magnified fear-based thoughts this is what you're thinking about um, and it's to do with um, their walking away from something leaving something behind it's the eight of cups is um, leaving something behind that you feel it no longer serves you is no longer meaningful to you anymore and, and heading towards um, a new sunrise there but this is on your mind and it whatever this is you're walking away from or somebody's walking away from it's causing you um, a lot of fear-based thoughts here I'm just being drawn back to the moon and the ace of cups again and and of course with this moon energy that's come out right at the center of your reading Aries you know we have we do have the full moon uh, in Scorpio is going to be very very strong at the beginning of this this reading um, time scale so for me as well this could be indicating that you know this moon the energy of this moon now um, is going to be um, bringing something um, to the fore concerning your your um, heart space perhaps a relationship of some sort right right at the root of this situation we have the king of wands and we have judgment now the king of wands in this particular pack for me as a reader this is a player energy so this is referring to somebody um, who um, very passionate, um, but is a, is a player. He doesn't hang around if things are not working. He doesn't hang around. Um, he's always looking for his next conquest, if you like. So this is an energy of somebody that plays around a little bit. Um, he follows his. Um, desires and drives if you like it's that sort of an energy and that that's what uh, directs him you know him or her it's not gender specific because we've got the judgment card next to it and this is about um it's coming to a time of rebirth and having to but but having to take a, a just and fair review of the past decisions made in the past um the ones that worked well for you, the ones that didn't work well. Um, getting ready for this time of rebirth. It's like a, the judgment call, standing up to be counted, if you like, um, and wanting to learn from the past. So this is already in place. So this may be an aspect for, of yourself, Aries, um, at some point in the past, or it's somebody connected to you, or it's just an energy. Um, but at some point, this is at the root of this situation, at some point there's been a judgment call where you've had to review and reflect on the past and decisions made in the past. And then past influences, we have the Eight of Coins and the Page of Swords. Um, and the Eight of Coins is um, working hard, this the apprenticeship card, and you can see this um, man has been working, practicing on all these coins down here that haven't quite worked out. But now he's focusing and working hard on another coin here. So he's perfecting his skill, if you like. So somebody working hard to perfect a skill in the past. Um, and then getting a light bulb moment, the page of swords. Um, the, which, and the swords are very much about the mind and communication. Um, but here, this is a, this was perhaps a new idea, um, a new idea that was very much like a light bulb moment um, that came in in the past um, and got you working and focusing on just one area, if you like, to perfect a skill. So that will have meaning for some of you.
okay and I'm just wondering if looking at the King of Wands and because there was a judgment call here to do with this King of Wands energy um, that there was perhaps a light bulb moment concerning this energy um, that enabled you or somebody connected to you Aries to disregard others and, and focus on one thing so rather than you know being involved with lots of coins here being focused on one um, which perhaps it's a, a there was an understanding that came in that to carry on with this energy was not serving you well or somebody connected to you wasn't serving them well so you know you had a light bulb moment about that and then decided to focus on one on one area on one person perhaps on one energy but it's led to the current situation where you're a bit unclear about something to do with a new emotional experience you're still a bit unclear things are a bit vague and then what's on your mind is you know fear-based thoughts about walking away from something and heading towards something else And of course, the Three of Cups, that can indicate that Three is a crowd. That can, This can indicate third party situations. Um, and there's some form of an inner conflict going on for you here to do with this Three of Cups energy. Okay. All right, so underneath the five of wands so the three of cups the five of wands in a conflict and we've got the nine of pentacles which is about being independent and or, or independent and autonomous so there's something about um perhaps three is a crowd here in a conflict about something to do with that the ind being independent you know being alone independent and but not being able to see things clearly because there's the moon again not being able to see things clearly. Going forward, um, we have the Four of Coins and Justice. So, um, the Four of Coins, this is talking about, um, well, there's two levels to this card in its purest sense. The Four of co card Coins um, or Pentacles is about holding things close to your chest, keeping things secret, if you like so nobody else can take them um, and so that's that's the in the purest sense because you can see the gloved hand coming over here and um, wanting to take the coins take something that doesn't belong to them um, but also with this card this is almost like the wealthy man lifting the lid and showing showing everybody what he has in, in his case if you like so revealing what it ha what he has but the clarifier is justice um, and, and so this is about um, if there has been some form of injustice in the past there's a need for these for justice to come in now and for the scales to be balanced for a sense of equality and fair play and and um, you know for the playing field to be leveled out now um, so what this is saying, I feel, for some of you is there's a need for justice, a justice call now um, to do with secrecy, perhaps, or keeping things hidden. And probably, you know, I mean, because I say this, the Four of Coins is very much about protecting what you have also. But it could be justice levelling the scales now about and revealing more of yourself, perhaps for revealing, you know, what's underneath the skin of things. Perhaps about not being quite so secretive. So let's see, I can always get some more let's see what else comes out um, well so 
Okay. So this is something else that your guides and energies want to say to you. So we have the Two of Cups and the Strength card. And the Two of Cups is very much about a close relationship. This is a close relationship, a bonded twin flame. Now it could be an intimate relationship or partnership or a very close friendship. Um, family friendship or um, bonded, um, you know, community friendship. Um, platonic friendship. So, But it's very much a very bonded, close relationship. Um, two people who think alike and have got on the same playing field, if you like. Which, where this perspective may have come in, you know? Sharing the same vision here with somebody. Um, and this very strong, this is, this, is a, this is the strength card. And this is about being very, you know, drawing on your inner strength. So there's something about needing to be strong, drawing on your inner strength. Um, to do with this very close relationship. So I'm just going to get some more information. Right. Could we clarify the Four of Coins and the Justice card, please, for going forward? Four of Coins and Justice for going forward. So clarify for the Four of Coins, we have the Five of Cups, Five of Chalices. Um, the Five of Chalices, this is when there's a sense of loss, the, a feeling that you've lost something. Um, the cups are all tipped over here, so the contents are all spilled out. And you can't put the contents back in again, so they're go it's gone. But it's a, a, a sense of alarm and shock and um, sadness. Um, about something that um, has gone now, is finished, is, is, is lost. And, and now that's a clarify for the Four of Coins. So this sense of loss, uh, of having lost um, something, um, is connected to being very protective of what you have. Um, Perhaps you have revealed something of yourself and opened up um, but feel that it's caused this, this loss of some sort. It's opened up um, a wound perhaps for some of you, making you realise something that's gone, that's lost. Um, that's just for some of you. Um, but it, and also it could be that keeping something very close to your chest, you know, hiding aspects of something, hiding what you have maybe to do with money, um, it may be to do with the part of yourself, um, keeping it hidden, um, but has resulted in this, and it may have resulted in this sense of, of loss, of having lost something, or... Uh, it may be because of this that something that happened in the past that's made you very protective of, of what you have, either of your energy or, or what you actually have and, and own. And then connected to justice, we have the Two of Swords. And this is conflict, so there's been some form of cross-swords, um, conflict, fighting, disagreement, um, not being able to agree here with the differing perspective, not being able to agree on something and fighting about it, um, which created a sense of injustice, I feel, um, in the past. Too much fighting, too much disagreement, too much wanting to have your own way, perhaps, or 
um, to have your opinion listened to. Um, so, you know, so it, there's a need for the scales to be balanced now in this situation. If we put them all together, put them all together, um, we can see there's this um, sense of loss here, something that um, has been has, has gone. So, you know, feeling alarmed and, and grieving over that. Um, and it's something that you've perhaps kept close to your chest, kept it hidden, kept it to yourself. Um, but it, it caused an injustice. So there's a sense, there's a need for justice to be seen to be done now, for the scales to be balanced now, whatever this was to do with. Um, but of course, you know, there's been cross swords, there's been a conflict, disagreements. Um, all connected. I'm just going to get two more, two more cards, just see if we can get a bit more clarification. So could we have two more cards, please? For the Five of Cups and the Four of Pentacles, Justice and the Two of Swords. Okay, so looking at here at the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Cups, we have the Three of Wands, and the Three of Wands came out right at the beginning underneath the park here of um, waiting for your ship to come in. Um, and interestingly, underneath the Three of Wands, we've got the Justice card again here. So um, the Three of Wands again, very much connected to um, the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Cups, which is about wishing on a star, you can see, waiting for something to come in. And we've got the moon here again, so it's just this time of the of the full moon. Um, but half, after a lot of planning and hard work, just waiting now, waiting for something, something to come in. Um, after a period of, of sadness and, and, and grief over what's gone, but perhaps opening up a little bit more here, perhaps opening up and revealing a little bit more of yourself and feeling able to do that. But I, I do feel there's still a, very, a protective energy there as well. You just feel that at any minute now that, that this person could slam the lid down um, and to protect his energy perhaps or what he has. So there's very much um, about waiting now, waiting for something to come in, something to materialise. And then connected to the justice and is the two of swords, we have the strength card again. Of course, we had the strength card here connected to um, the two of cups, um, a bond, bonded relationship, a close relationship. So it looks like there's justice. Um, whoever these, the two of swords here, um, looking at it again, looks like they're fighting over a, a, a conquer. So they're fighting over something that, you know, and it's about perspective, isn't it? What's important to one person isn't important to another. So this conquer, um, which is a little bit meaningless, isn't it? But it's creating this conflict. And it's because it's just about perspective. Um, but there's a need now um, for the scales to be balanced here, for the perhaps for the conflict to stop. Um, but here with the this strength card, you can see um, that this Herculean figure is trying to hold the bull back by the horns. So there's something charging in, some a very strong. It might be a strong sense of feeling, and it's difficult to hold those emotions back. Trying to hold the tide back. It's that sort of an energy. And so he's trying to, he's got the bull by the horns and he's really working hard to hold it back with all his strength. So this is something that's, it's been hard work, it's been difficult. It's been a difficult time, I feel. I'm just going to get some information about the Two of Cups and the Strength card, please, for whoever this is for. So the Two of Cups and the Strength card, please.
Do we have the Seven of Pentacles, which is about timing? This is something that's not quite the right time. Something is still growing and developing to do with this, the Two of Cups energy. Um, okay. And then connected to strength, we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is a, a new abundant opportunity or beginning um, that, that is going to be presented. And I feel this is going to help you, Aries, whoever this is for. This is going to help you tap into your inner strength. It's, it's a new opportunity and it could well be to do with money or career. Um, but it's, bringing, it's going to bring um, an opportunity of abundance. Um, and I feel it's going to help you tap into your inner strength. Be strong, be Hercules. To hold, you know, to be strong enough to hold something back that's not working. All right, I'm just going to get two more. Could we have two more cards, please? For the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, the Strength card, and the Ace of Pentacles, please. So connected to the Two of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Six of Cups. And this is about a relationship, thinking, memories, nostalgia, thinking of a relationship um, that's been around for a long time, or either it's in the past, um, or it's still around, but it's been around for a long time. But it's very much a sense of nostalgia and memories and, and thinking about that. And that may well be linked to this um, Two of Cups, this very close bonded relationship that it looks like it's still growing um, and you've been thinking a lot um, about that and connected to the strength and the ace of pentacles we have the hierophant um, which is about godlike blessings um, wise counsel blessings and it's very much universal the universe putting its rubber stamp on this situation to do with this abundant new opportunity that's coming in um, that's going to help you with your to tap into your inner strength and particularly concerning um, this is very much about a relationship isn't it something to do with the heart the heart situation I mean, for some of you, this may be indicating um, a pregnancy here. For some of you, which may be causing you to have memories of this um, relationship. But the universe clearly wants you to be strong um, and move on from this conflict, this, this, this these disagreements going forward. Um, Very interesting reading, um, Aries. I feel there's lots of different factors here, but I feel that um, the first card that came out was about meditate and contemplate. So, you know, take time out, particularly with this full moon in Scorpio coming, that's going to bring lots of things up to the surface to be cleared. Um, so a time of meditating and contemplating and reflecting on the past, because we had the Three of Wands as well, didn't we? So um, just a very quick recap. So at the heart of your reading was the moon. Um, it's about something being a bit unclear still to do with um, a new emotional experience to do with your heart centre. That may be indicating a new relationship for some of you or something else. Um, but what you're thinking, you've, you've got a lot of fear-based thoughts about this, um, about walking away, leaving, or somebody walking away and leaving. Um, and of course, then at the root of the matter is the King of Wands energy, the player energy. Um, 
and um, a time of judgment, a rebirth and reflecting on the past. And of course that was connected with the light bulb moment to get a, a deeper understanding about something and then focusing on on, a, on a developing something, um, honing your skills in but focusing on one thing, on one energy. Um, that's interesting because then we had the Three of Cups, didn't we? And in a conflict to do with um, the Three of Cups, perhaps Three is a crowd situation. Um, and then going forward, um, a, a sense of sadness and loss um, to do with something that you feel has, has gone. Um, but that perhaps you've been still been working on and hopeful for and waiting for something to come in from that. And perhaps opening up and revealing a little bit more of yourself or perhaps a little bit more of what you have. Although still having a bit of a protective self-protection energy there. Um, but there's definitely this need for a sense of justice, a sense of the scales to be balanced out now in connection with some form of cross swords, conflict. Conflict over something that I feel, for some of you, it's not really important, but it's about perspective. It's a sense of pers different perspective, which we can all feel very strongly about, can't we? You know, here with the um, the strength card, we can feel very strongly about our own perspective, and which makes it difficult to see other people's perspective. So there's something about a need, perhaps, um, for that to come in and to tap on your inner strength, because you're still trying to hold the tide back with something. You know, you're having to muster all of your strength to... Um, to hold this bull back from charging over you. And it's all to do with perspective. Different points of view. And then the advice from the universe um, was definitely about something. Something is still there, is still around, still growing. Um, to do with um, memories of a past relationship. Um, could be to do with pregnancy for some of you. It doesn't have to be. It could just be about timing something still growing and developing but we've got the strength again and, and this is very much about drawing on your inner strength now um, you're very nurturing you've got a very nurturing side to you but there's also the lion you can draw on um, inside so it's taking control of the lion if you like because you know there's a, a new abundant opportunity or abundant experience coming in or a gift or some form of an, an offer um, and it's being blessed by the universal energies okay so let's just get could we have two more messages please for Aries two more messages for Aries please Well, we've got grounding, so go deep and explore your roots, Aries, and protected by angels. You are cherished by the angels, so that's lovely. You're very much protected, and you're being guided, and you're very much loved by the angels, Aries, so the beautiful energy. Um, and then, yes, um, grounding, particularly over the next few days. Um, go deep, explore your roots, take time out, go into nature. Um, have a bath, um, switch off, meditate, um, contemplate what's gone, where you are now and where, where you're heading. So explore your roots as well, you know, um, just considering, you know, what is it, what makes us react at times the way that we do? What is it that we need to balance out with now? ready for moving forward afresh and I feel this new full moon in Scorpio is going to help you to do that Aries for some of you to a greater or lesser degree but remember you are protected by the angels which is beautiful or right, I'm going to leave it there um, 
All right, quite a, a difficult reading in many respects. Um, but um, I hope for whoever this was for, it's giving you a little bit of clarity and support and a to do with the situation that, that you find yourself in at the moment. But there's certainly a level of progress here within this reading. Things starting to progress now. Sometimes it's purely about energy that's progressing or mental understanding and mental clarity. Because we had right in the past experience, past influences was the Page of Swords, wasn't it? Which was about the mind. Something new, a new thought, a new idea. Um, all right, anyway, good luck going forward, Aries, and I hope you can join me again in the future. Bye-bye for now.